Hello people, this is Hidden Robot 2 here, coming at you with a vi tutorial video on how to, um, energy, actually, all the energies that there are. So, let's start this, um, let's get into the world, it's loading up. Okay, so first off, we go with solar energy. Um, this, as I said, set up is a solar flower, which is consisted of one solar panel, some glass fiber. I mean, not one, a lot of solar panels, glass fibers, and then to connected to a bat box like this. This will make it receive energy. The problem with this is that there are the, it's becoming nighttime. Let's do it like, nope. Do it like that. That should work. Oh, wait. Yeah, it's because we need a... We need a bat box that's not pointing that way of where the energy should go, so... Like, let's make another bat box and put it like, nope. Like that. There we go, and that should be receiving power. Yeah, and that's how you make one. Next is a, next you can do also a low voltage solar arrays. The also um, high medium voltage solar arrays, which you need an MFE for. But it's, they're not letting it grow. I mean not grow, uh, it's not letting it B and get any energy so let's just take this out and that should be giving it energy nope do I need to take this whole thing out that should be working there we go and that's receiving its energy with the MFE. Next, we have a high voltage solar array over here. And it should be receiving energy very quickly to this. That's been the solar energy. Now let's go to wind energy. You see I have it connected to the wind turbine that's up in level 1, 9, 9, 22, 9, 2. And connect it with glass fibers to the MF to the bat box, and it should be receiving energy. Next up, we have the um, we have nuclear power. Nuclear power is a bit different. You're gonna need an MFC um, minimum to receive power. So here we got it all set up. Let's get our four uranium cells. Let's get our uranium cells. Stick them in this. Should make should be making power to the MFE. MFSU. Alright, or maybe not. Maybe it wouldn't like that to be like that because it it just wouldn't like it. What if I like that? I we need some coolant cells, probably. What am I missing here? Stick some coolant cells in there, and that should make it work. Maybe. Receive energy into the MFSU. Nope. Hmm. Maybe it needs a light source. Oh! 
Well, that was just like weird uranium cells, so that should be making power, but it isn't because YOLO. Why not? Why are you not making any power? Oh, it's because of the same problem. Let me fix that. Um, MFSU. And then we put it like... Like that. And then connect the glass fiber. And then we have energy. There we go. That's uh, energy. Let's turn that off before it explodes. Next up, we have geothermal energy. See here, I have a pump connected to the wooden waterproof and golden connected to the geothermal. And the geothermal gives off energy to the bat box. Let's start this engine up with redstone engines. That should make it work. And it should be pumping. Somewhat it never really pumps, I just don't understand why. Let's see if it's because of any more some it needs more lava to pump in. Let's here. Let's make it done. Let's make it like that. And is that pumping any energy? No. So apparently it doesn't like to pump energy somewhat. It just doesn't like to. Well, when it works, it should be pumping it water into the tank, and the, it, it should, I mean, lava, and into here, and it should go into here. Now, we are going to manually put on some lava there, because I'm not trying to, going to try to figure out why that doesn't work. That is just never worked to me, and never been able to, so... Here you go, it should be able to come over here, into the generator, and making power to the bat box. Okay, next up we have the hydro power. Well, there are two types of hydro. The, there's the water mill, that you can, if I connect over here, it should be making energy, really slowly. And then, if I connect it to like, this water strainer, we can start making it work. Though, again, pumps... I don't understand why they don't work, but this one should be working. Let's connect up the redstone engine. There we go. And nope, it doesn't work. Like always, never works. So let's just manually put on some some water. Let's manually put on some water. To pump it out, like just like the geothermal energy, into the water strainer, and the water strainer should be making energy for the bat box. So you see, that's not the water mill; that is the water strainer. Yeah, and that has been all the powers: solar, wind, geothermal, nuclear, and hydro. Thank you for watching, and bye.